But let's take a look at the state capture inquiry today, which resumed with its work into Prasa Popomalefe, the former board chair, being in the witness box and giving more evidence. And, of course, the allegations he's making against uh, the ANC's top six in particular, that uh, he had, in fact, um, made them aware of the corruption at Prasa. Reporter Tumalo Mutlaudi has been watching that story. Tumalo, good evening. What exactly did uh, Popomalefe say? Well, Kathy, Pepe was painting a picture of the situation um, at Prasa, um, saying that uh, when it came to light that there was uh, these allegations of uh, rampant uh, corruption in terms of uh, procurement processes, um, that he went and he had a meeting where he informed the then ANC uh, top six uh, that uh, there are these problems and uh, that uh, there is an issue uh, that he was having with uh, um, Mr. Montana at the time and that he was alleging that Mr. Montana was trying uh, to, in fact, make sure that he handed over uh, Prasa, so to speak, uh, as a sacrificial lamb over to those who wanted to abuse uh, the tendering processes and as well as those who wanted to misuse the finances of uh, the rail authority. Sure. Let's talk about the makeup of the ANC top six at the time. Who were some of the people that um, he's saying uh, he would have told about this and what did they do and have they ever come back to him? Are those people still within leadership, within the, the cabinet and still part of the top six, some of them today? Well, what he did say is that uh, they did uh, promise uh, to get back to him after he basically put forward these allegations to them saying that there was this issue of uh, corruption and capture, alleged capture happening at Prasa. Now, when you talk about those who were at the top six at the time, you would then have to have uh, then Deputy President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, who is now uh, President of the ANC and President of the country, and then you would have then uh, former Secretary General Gwede Mantashe, and you would have um, Deputy uh, uh, former General Secretary Jesse Duarte, Chairperson Balek Ambete, and of course a ter Treasurer General then Zuelim Kize. And we know that of course uh, some of them are now in still in, in government. Uh, you know, Dr. Zuelim Kize uh, is now the Minister uh, of Health. And um, at the time, I mean, uh, he says that after following up to try and find out what was happening with that, he was just given an indication that the ANC would get back to him on those allegations. And since then, he says nothing has happened. Did he say, they were, you know, how he felt about this? The fact that effectively there was no response uh, from the governing party. And I wonder if there were any further questions on this issue, especially from uh, uh, Justice Zondo. Well, on, in, in terms of uh, his testimony at the commission, he says that um, he felt that um, he was frustrated by what he perceived to be a lack of a response. He says that uh, he waited and waited and therefore there was nothing forthcoming. Um, and then he tried to take the matter on uh, by uh, basically um, trying to uh, approach um, parliament as well to see what could be done in terms of these allegations. The matter then also went to court because you would know that uh, Popo Malefa today then also testified uh, that uh, members of the board were then effectively hounded out by Mr. Montana. Allegedly, uh, they were forced to resign and he was left alone and he refused to resign, which means that uh, Prasa then effectively had no uh, um, corporate governance and therefore no decisions could be taken. What he says this created was a situation whereby allegedly Mr. Montana were then had the, the leeway to basically then go ahead and push through um, dodgy deals uh, that amounted to billions in terms of a rolling stock for Prasa. Sure. Let me bring into the conversation then the ANC's Pulia Mabe. Pulia, good evening and thanks for your time on News at Prime. What do you make of uh, Mr. Mulefe's statement today before the inquiry? Well, I can't hear you quite well. I'm not sure if it's your audio that side or it's mine. Sure. What I'm asking you is, the ANC, upon hearing Papo Malefe's testimony at the State Capture Commission of Inquiry today, can you confirm that he did in fact tell the top six structures of the ANC about the corruption that had been taking place at Prasa and they didn't do anything about it? Uh, well, Oskethi, I'm not a member of the top six and I've never been part of the top six, so I wouldn't know uh, what sort of engagements get to be filed with the top six by those that might deem such necessary. What is important is that the ANC and across the board has been emphatic on the fight against corruption. We have advanced this regardless of who is involved. 
actually the very establishment of the state of the of the commission on uh, state capture uh, was a resolution coming out of the ANC national conference. So it should be recognized that these are strides that the movement has taken to make sure that it deals with uh, this cancer of uh, corruption, invites everyone who could have information that might help shed light to the state on what could have happened where they would have been uh, deployed or where they stayed, they were, or they were stationed. So saying whether the officials of the ANC were aware or not, uh, at this stage, it's not really quite a matter of uh, significance. The platform has been created to allow... I'm going to come in and disagree with you. I'm going to come in and disagree with you because these are damning allegations that are being made. You talk about how the ANC has always been pro-shedding light on the state of corruption. Bobumulef is saying that he tried to do that and he was ignored. Therefore, um, it, it defeats the purpose to come on uh, X amount of years later and say, well, actually, um, we want corruption exposed when, in fact, the people who are bringing it to you, you completely ignored. So have you followed up with those who were at the top six at the time to try and find out whether what Bobumulef is saying is, in fact, true? Well, Oskethi, my opening statement was that I am not an official of the ANC. Uh, if I was an official of the ANC, maybe I would be in the know. So I am not aware of whether there was such briefing, whether such briefing has taken place or not. All I am doing here is to confirm the commitment by the African National Congress through resolutions taken at our successive conferences to make sure that we are unrelenting in our fight against corruption and that we lend whatever support necessary to institutions set up to fight corruption. Mr. Mabe, can you then find out for us, please, if in fact what Bobo Munefe is saying about having notified the NEC, the top six structure of the ANC about corruption at Prasa is the truth. Will you be able to do that for us? Well, uh, you know, perhaps what is lagging there is that uh, we do not know which top six is, is, is he referring to. Actually, Remember, we do. We do know. We do know. He did confirm which, which top six he was referring to. Which one is he referring to? to because so, that when I, so that when I ask, I can ask whoever was the incumbent SG at the time. Remember, there was a top six that was led by Gwede Mandashi as a secretary general, and Jacob Zuma as president, and Cyril uh, uh, Ramaphosa as deputy president. There is now a top six led by Ramaphosa as president, Ace Makashule as secretary general. So, so it would be the former Pule, the ANC where Gwede Mandashi was the secretary general, and president, uh, former president Jacob Zuma, the president, and the now president was the deputy president. Well, I don't think that it will create any harm to establish through records or engagement on a, the sort of, or sort of a confessions or whatever that would have been made at the State Capture Commission. I think as a matter of principle, the ANC has never been opposed to the work that is being carried out uh, by the Commission. We have encouraged all those that are invited by the Commission to make time to appear before the Commission, to share whatever information that could be necessary to empower the Commission to further its work. Whether officials, uh, whether we go back to check with officials or not, at this stage, what is important is the information that is been filed before the Commission by those that would have had some responsibility in our own SOEs, so that ultimately, collectively, together, we could be able to respond but, to this. But, thing. Bule, are, are, are you saying that it's not important? Are you saying that it's not important to know when, um, when, when, whether, in fact, when, what Popo Mulefe is saying is, is the truth? Well, well, well uh, Sis Kefi, it is really not up to me uh, to attach importance or non-importance of this. I am not a commissioner. It is really up to the state, up to the commission, 
to determine what is the but, method but on of the part on the part of the ANC, because it would be an incredible indictment on the governing party if, in fact, what Bobo Malefe has said today is the truth, because he's saying he raised issues of state capture at Prasa, where we know millions of rands have been looted out of that dis, uh, institution, which is today left in a crumbling state. And he's saying he went to the governing party to make the top six officials aware of this and they did nothing. Would you not see that as an indictment on your organization? Well, well uh, Sis Kathy, uh, for the sake of your own viewers, and because we are a very responsible party, we have said this in the past and will repeat this again. Uh, should at any given time it appear to the State Capture Commission that it may want the ANC to appear before it to clarify this or that matter. The African National Congress has always made itself available. And I'm sure that should an issue like this require that kind of a confirmation from the ANC, such would be that. All right. Pule Mabe, he speaks on behalf of the ANC. Thanks for your time on News of Prime. We'll also leave it there with our reporter, Dumaule Moshaw.